Well, the incident has caused a flurry of reaction on Chinese social media as people discuss the possible dangers of traveling with portable chargers. Now, take a look at this video taken on a cell phone and then uploaded onto social media. You see a flight attendant trying to deal with fire that broke out on one of the overhead compartments. You see she's using water from a bottle to put the fire out and then a passenger that splashes orange juice over it. Now, passengers in Guangzhou were forced to get off the plane. They had to wait for three hours before another plane took them to Shanghai. The passenger whose bag caught fire was kept in Guangzhou for investigation. And it didn't take long for that video to circulate online. So Southern Airlines took to Weibo to explain that a portable charger with a lithium ion battery caused it. It wasn't being used when it caught fire. There's now a hashtag all about that incident with millions of views. People are still trying to understand how that happened so they can prevent it from happening on their flights. Many are saying they will be sure to buy branded portable chargers with clear indications it is safe for flying and are urging others to do the same. Our next trending story actually involves one of CCTV's most popular documentaries, A Bite of China or Shi Jian Shang the Zhongguo had its third season debut in China last week. In its first episode, it featured a small factory that makes homemade iron walks. Apparently, that factory went viral within an hour after the first episode. Its online store sold all 2,000 of its available walks. The store even went online urging people not to climb over the walls of the factory to look for iron walks anymore. And finally, our last trending topic, it may be the end of the Pyeongchang Winter Games, but it also marks new beginnings. These memes are going around Weibo featuring China's athletes and talking about their achievements. China clenched a gold, six silver and two bronze medals. All of the athletes are already looking forward to Beijing's Winter Games in 2022, saying they can't wait to perform even better. Web users are sharing these pictures, thanking all of their athletes, whether or not they won medals for their dedication to making China proud. The Digital Hub will keep you up to speed on stories making news online. Follow us at cgtnamerica.com. And remember, you could always write to us on Facebook, Twitter, and Weibo.